Hello everyone, my name is Devashish and I welcome you all to this video. So in today's video, we are going to see another potential use case of ChatGPT for reverse engineer. Uh, so when we do vulnerability research or you can say exploit development, uh, the very first step that we often follow uh, to find out if any you know bug is exploitable or not is you know uh, find the root cause of any crash. Uh, so I had a thought in my mind uh, to check if we can use chat GPT to you know do root cause analysis of any you know software crashes uh, so uh, this is the this is uh, the plan that I have in today's video so I have actually you know uh, written a uh, couple of lines uh, in C++ which will actually you know trigger uh, some sort of crashes and I what I'm gonna do is I'll try to debug those crashes uh, using WinDBG and I'll see if I can actually you know, seek help from ChatGPT to guide me through the entire process of you know, root cause analysis. So before we even do that, what I'm going to do is what I usually do when I use ChatGPT is you know, setting the context in the ChatGPT. Uh, so here uh, I'm setting the context, hey, ja hey uh, I have an Windows application that is crashing I'm trying to debug the crash and find the root cause using WinDBG debugger will you be able to guide me step by step I can share WinDBG command output with, with you which you want me to execute let's see what it has to say so uh, I'm telling that you know if you ask me to you know execute certain command on WinDBG, I can actually definitely share the output with you. Uh, certainly, I can guide you through the process using WinDBG to debug Windows application. Please share the WinDBG command output that you want me to use. Additionally, it will be helpful to know more about the nature of the crashes. Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea. I have crashed down. I'm telling that I have no idea. I'm becoming, you know, super dumb in front of chat GPT and see if it can, you know, guide me. Okay. It is saying we can use the crash dump to analyze the dump. Um, analyze the crash and find the root causing the steps. Okay, so it is asking me to go to file, open crash dump. This portion we can ignore. Uh, so we'll open the crash dump. And then it is asking us to, you know, execute analyze.v command and it is also you know kind of guiding me what all things I have to check um, is it will you be able to give me some context if I share the command output with you okay let's see uh, I'll I have couple of files here crash 1 crash 2 uh, so I'll open WinDBG uh, open the executable crash 2 uh, and I'll continue the execution so as you can see we have an access violation here okay uh, it, the application has crashed uh, so I'll just you know simply execute the command analyze dash b so it is doing the exception analysis and we have the output here what I'm gonna do is uh, so I have spent a lot of time actually analyzing these crashes in the past but uh, this time I'm gonna just simply you know share it with you here is the output on the information provided the output analysis it appears the crash should caused by an attempt to write invalid memory address 
okay that's not very helpful because usually uh, the specific error message reads the faulty instruction is fine that is pretty evident which attempted to move from the okay the crash occurred in the crash.exe process and analysis is that null pointer write problem class okay that's true uh, the analysis also provides stack trace crash okay it has also pointed out that to fix the issue you need to identify the root cause individual memory mm -hmm. okay uh, so what i can understand it is not giving me you know much detailed information about it but you know it simply uh, just uh, you know giving me it's a null pointer right uh, that is also you know pretty evident from the you know windvg output that you know, it's a null pointer d reference and no, not d reference null pointer right uh, and it is also pointing out the you know crash modules uh, so i think it is really helpful for someone who has you know no idea what this output is all about it can definitely give some context and uh, you know from analyze the output also you should be able to see it is pointed out it's a null pointer right actually in you know, operations uh, so let's see now uh, i'll i have one more uh, file one more you know crash that i can share with chat gpt so let's see if i if it can you know, give me some idea about it i'll open crash mm. g okay as you can see critical error has occurred uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna simply analyze v so i have this output here what i'm gonna do is simply copy the entire thing and go to uh, here is another output of a different application can you can you uh, try can you please tell me the root cause of the problem The root cause of this problem is actionable heap corruption okay that ha it has actually you know pointed out pretty clearly that it's due to heap corruption and that's true because i have only developed this program and i know it's a heap corruption issue that this indicates that there was a problem with the heap allocation and deallocation in the code specifically the exception occurred in free base function okay uh, which is called when freeing memory that was allocated memory and the call stack shows that the problem occurred in crash.exe process that's absolutely correct and the exception was triggered by a breakpoint instruction okay it is difficult to determine the exact cause of the heap uh, is there is there uh, any other command i can help you with mm, yeah so as we can see you know it has said it depends on what you are trying to achieve uh, can you uh, give me some more info about the root cause? Okay, I think you know it has pretty much given up now. Uh, so uh, yeah, that is how I would like to you know conclude this at this moment. It is definitely help someone who has no experience reading those debug blogs and stuffs. Okay, um, but uh, definitely won't be very useful who is actually you no know, kind of you know a pro and advanced level who is trying to find the exact root cause of this app, of this you know application crashes. Uh, so okay, that's all I have. Uh, so thank you so much for your time. I'll see you in the next video.